cultural and scientific models have been changing for centuries, whimsically and often following the dictates of so-called <laughs> scientific truth. In our era, following the reign of terror of chemical formulas, scientific thought has come under the sway of a whole succession of new models that are actually old ones. What are the ways of bridging differences and the whole heritage of scientific reductionism with its compartmentalized, narrow, and mutually exclusive scopes of research? Let me explain. Humanities and social science disciplines are complicated creatures. They are not just intellectual fields of inquiry, they are also organizations and cultures. One could make an argument that the production of knowledge in capitalist modernity was predicted on the break between two cultures. It's an, it's an evergreen, of course. Science imagined as a search of truth through research and philosophy concerned with speculation and moral laws. This separation implied a very clear division between the search for what is true and the quest for what is just. One of the first liberatory epistemic premises, in my view, would be to reunite the field of knowledge by transcending, as you said, transcending this artificial epistemic separation. As we enter the 20th century, the tripartite organization of university between humanities, social sciences, and natural sciences was well in place. Social sciences emerged an impenetrable fortress separated by organiza organizational culture of mutual distrust. As we are entering a period of systematic instability, evidence that not only in crisis of economy but also in the crisis of the state, we should refuse to perpetuate the liberal organization of knowledge in state-centered science. There is nothing particularly revolutionary in this suggestion. After all, social sciences are constructed visions, visions of the world, and it's, it's only natural for them to be reconstructed. What is important in this task is to avoid the trap of interdisciplinarity, an ambiguous word, I would say, that was used already in 1920s. And that today goes under different names, including multidisciplinarity, transdisciplinarity, and probably many others. The idea is not to combine already existing disciplines and by so doing, strengthen them we should instead refuse the intellectual and political relevance of social sciences, structures of knowledge that reflect a social reality of the long 19th century. Otherwise, we would continue to work in structures of knowledge that are confused, conservative, and intellectually not very useful. This is certainly not a prudent way to approach a world social situation that is itself undergoing violent transition. The questions seem to be not the social science and university system <coughs> excuse me, pardon, is going to be reorganized, but how and by whom? From the top or from below? This new project be predicted on epistemic reconciliation of science and philosophy. The world of knowledge could be reunited as a project that brings together research of truth and search for a just and good life. I do not think that it is enough to state that the world system is in the state of, of chaotic, I would say, rather, chaotic transition. In order to create intellectually and politically more useful structures of knowledge, we need to unthink the epistemological assumptions we are using and build new systems of knowledge. This is our task and our responsibility. A restructuring of doctoral studies programs, for instance, into schools of doctoral studies would enable a more efficient and research-wise a more th thorough potential for scientific and educational advancement. The aim of such a strategy of restructuring would be to release the research vision from its present excessive in 
entrenchment, entrenchment within the limits of particular academic field. Whereas once the paradigm of the fruits of productivity occurring from the very craft of specialization brought about the unquestionable superiority and global supremacy to the Western, of course, scientific thought, we are now undergoing a paradigm shift which takes us off into a world in which it is rather the all-embracing and the holistic approach to the research which offer the most becoming responses to the challenges raised in the now global and indivisible research community made ever more instantaneous and homogeneous by the digital universe in which we all operate. It is precisely for these reasons, just one sentence more, it is precisely for these reasons soundly grounded in the realm of theoretical premises that we propose the establishment of the schools of doctoral studies, which would offer a research and educational venue attuned to the challenges of science and its world view in the 21st century. The outcome of the proposal strategy of restructuring, I have two One minutes. And a half minutes. One and a half, okay, I'll make it short. Okay. I'll make it short <laughs> within my own constringency. <laughs> Shakespearean. The outcome of the proposal strategy of restructuring of the present programs would be well-rounded doctoral dissertations held by an array of experts from different fields availing of an opportunity of addressing the research task from an adequate multitude of aspects transgressing, that's your word, <coughs> any boundaries traditionally posed in front of any serious research in the, in the field of humanities and, and social sciences. Firstly, at the level of, see, I have three points. Uh, firstly, at the level of single university, it would facilitate the pooling of the most competent members of the research and teaching staff to one establishment. Secondly, the school encompassing all the previously described attributes could be restructured, or could be structured so as to include professors and research students from select universities within the whole country. Thirdly, enabling a high quality coverage of a wide range of topical issues in humanities and social studies, which merit urgent research and advancement of the current state of knowledge, it could be established as a regional and international institution offering services to national, regional, and international research students and doctoral candidates. These, and come to the end, these three level formation of the, sorry, yes, sorry. there are three, three level formations, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.